I always try to stop here. Look how beautiful a pond is in front of this house. Boy, if that isn't a beautiful pond, holy mackerel. Well, yesterday we had our first ride on the Ninja, and it was just about as as bulletproof as you could expect. And I remember the bike because I hadn't ridden it in nine months or so. I remember it being a great ride, and it didn't nothing changed in my mind. But today we want to go to a little bit different area. What we try to do is ride a little bit different area every day. I mean, we're within a hundred miles of the house at all times. And sometime we go out west, sometime north, sometime up to Bear Mountain, sometime up to Picatinny, that way. But, but I try not to ride the same ride, you know, two days in a row or more than once a week because we have these what I call loops. And Luciano and I have started going on these loops uh, where it's a predetermined amount of mileage. And I know that I can do the whole thing and be back to the house. If I fill up the gas tank, this bike goes about 150 miles on a tank of gas. Sometimes I don't even have to buy gas, so it, it makes it just more enjoyable. Now, in this really hot weather like we're having, and I mean it's hot, this, this went from being where you love this to oh my god, I, I gotta get a new mesh outfit. But anyway, the, the point is, the, the, the way I deal with it, I just set my alarm, get up earlier, try to get the ride in way before noon, and it's cooler, especially up in the mountainous areas where there's a lot of hills and mountains, or Bear Mountain's even cooler. So it, by planning it out that way, I get, I, I guess the answer is, I get a lot of good quality time where I'm not cooking and hot. Because in the afternoon, when, I, when I've been out on these really hot days and been 70 miles from home, that ride back home is not a lot of fun. And like I said, what really worked out well yesterday, no loose screws, no loose bolts, nothing rattling, nothing that I would even have to do any maintenance on. So for today, it's just a pre-flight to bike and get out as soon as possible out on the open road. And when I looked at the pictures from yesterday, we did quite a bit of photography work. I realized this little piece really made a big difference. This, that piece, I didn't know if it was gonna be worth making that piece. It worked out perfectly. And with the clear windshield on so we can shoot a lot of video, the carbon fiber nose piece, I think that, another little custom touch. Every one of these little custom touches, they all add up. Now the Thomas Luciano laser cut lettering, what I really had to move that down on the tank because I didn't want to have it covered up with the radar, the Valentine radar detector. So even a little detail like that, something somebody might look at and not even realize it all worked out great and the weatherman said it may even go to 90 today oh boy oh boy i can't believe the way this this summer just came upon us and i'm glad i have all the bikes always ready to go so this is what makes this working on these bikes all winter makes it worthwhile when you get to this point in the year everything's pretty much ready to go and my oil filters are due. I ordered oil filters, basically one for six of them, so that I would, the, the maintenance on some of the bikes is coming due very soon, and some probably by the end of the summer, but I want to have everything in-house. And as you can imagine, a farmer's work is never done. The plants need watering morning and evening. We really have enjoyed this garden. Well, we're enjoying it more and more as every day goes by, that's for sure. Yeah, the last thing before I go out on a ride, and I'll feel better if I know these are the correct filters. I will be thrilled, in fact. Because every once in a while, they send the wrong ones. Now what I do, I buy genuine Kawasaki filters from Portzilla. Genuine! Yep, it's the right part number. Okay. So, these are not genuine. Oh, they are genuine Suzuki parts. Not aftermarket, genuine Suzuki parts. Am I lucky? And of course, the mandatory thing, the return slip. I don't think we'll need it. But this sets us up for 
uh, the next couple weeks. As the bikes come due, I like to have everything in house. It's just the way I am. I like everything in house. I get a rainy day or a day I have other things to do and I don't have enough time to ride. And I can knock off all the oil filter changes one by one. And as I say, I always like to have the tires in stock. I like to have the parts in stock. Because what's going to happen? We are going to get a no riding day for weather-wise or some other thing. And I'll be ready to take advantage of it. But right now it's time to go. And I mean time to go. It's getting hot out there already. And it looks like it's going to be a heavenly, a heavenly hot day. Zero chance of rain and may even go into the high 80s. And there's just a few little other chores I have to do around here. And I'll be out on the open road. And boy, we have hit a heavenly little patch of weather here. Blue skies, just blue skies all day, just beautiful, beautiful day.
what a heavenly day this turned out to be look at that sky oh my god the back roads are deserted the sky is blue and we got a full tank of gas I always try to stop here. Look how beautiful a pond is in front of this house. Boy, if that isn't a beautiful pond. Holy mackerel. Mrs. Ertnowski is ready to make co two coffees today. You got it, huh, baby? Okay, I'm back. Boy, I got back just in time. It's getting hot. It was a beautiful day. We were up in a Mount Hope area, up down Lake Denmark Road and everything. Wow, beautiful ride. Just a beautiful ride. And coming home to the beautiful wife, making some coffee. So the way this ride played out today, I left real early. It got hot early, and it's not even noontime yet, and it is really cooking out here. And Karen has informed me that this afternoon is a gardening. She's got some transplanting to do and some, oh, some other stuff. But I love coming back from a ride and just checking that all my plants have grown two inches. All my crops are in. And the roses are blooming away. All the flowers are coming. Even along the edge of the ride, I see people with beautiful landscaping every time I ride. And as I look across the pond, I start to think, you know what? All the hours I put into this restoration, they're all starting to pay off now. This is a very, very, very enjoyable bike to ride. A couple of things that have really paid off. The, the light colored pants, I'm not so sure the jacket would do the same thing, but the light colored pants. You can actually, when you're riding, you can put, you know, you take your glove off, but you can feel the temperature and you feel the temperature, the, the lighter colors are definitely lighter. As I say that, I put my hand on a seat, you almost can't touch it. And for sure, the black is hot. So anyway, little lesson we learned. The, the sweat wicking shirts, these were worth their weight. I bought these a couple of years ago. They wick the sweat away from your body. They don't get all wet. They were good. I've got the real thin socks that, that wick the, uh, Dry fit, what are they called, dry fit? Some silly name anyway, but they keep your feet from getting all sweaty. And we are coming up on the hot part of the year where that's gonna really matter. But the biggest thing for me is to get out early while it's still cool and get back early. That works every time. Now, don't wanna ever end the video without saying thank you to the healthcare workers. My God, this coronavirus has just gone on forever and they have toughed it out. And I'm so happy to see those signs everywhere and signs coming into Rutherford. It's wonderful. Now, I hope you enjoy watching the videos. I enjoy making them. Karen enjoys sharing her garden with our friends and family. And all I can ever say to end the video is thanks for watching and life is very good. Well, look who's coming to see Grandpa. Look who's coming to see Grandpa. How much fun. Guess what we got? Guess what we got? Yay! It's yours. No, often happens. Excuse me. I'm safe. I'm safe. My turn? Yeah. Yeah, you know what happened. Seven. You're beating Grammy and I up to a pulp here. This is terrible. So now you're just, I'm gonna have to start owing, soon the bank's gonna start having to owe me, right? Yeah, I think so. I think you're gonna owe us money soon. I don't think so. How about rent? 
Do you know what? Once, once, um, if you can stay in the game long enough, I'm also gonna crush the bank. If you're, when, when you're done, I'm gonna crush the bank. What do you mean crush the bank? Like, I'm gonna play a game against the bank. No, no, 